Hello, my name is Ali Zishan. Um, I'm technical marketing manager for Standard Logic um, here at NXP in our sunny San Jose. Uh, I'll be talking about the VGA switches from NXP. Uh, NXP offers NX5 DB715. This is a VGA switch for demultiplexing the analog VGA signals coming from your PC going to the external monitors. The switch integrates uh, seven different channels um, according to the VGA protocol. Uh, it has low RDS on switches for RGB signals, level shifting translators for sync and DDC signals. Uh, it offers a typical bandwidth of uh, approximately 600 megahertz, which is high enough for uh, highest resolution. And the highest analog VGA resolution is 1920 by 1200 pixels per VESA specifications. Uh, so the switch does cover that uh, resolution. Uh, the the switch itself is offered in a 32-pin QFN. It's a pretty thin package. It has a flow-through pinout, uh, which helps in the layout uh, as well as save some PCB space for you. As a demonstration, we did a board uh, which has a switch on it. The board itself has one USB connector, uh, as you can see here, and three VGA connectors. So what's really happening here is the analog VGA signals are coming out of the notebook. They are going to the VGA demo board and then they are being demultiplexed out to either of the two display monitors. So the board itself can be powered up by a standalone power supply in lab or by default it's being powered up by pin 9 on the VGA cable which is 5 volts. So what we'll do basically we'll switch between the two display monitors by toggling the select pin and as a result, you can see we'll have the video going from one monitor to the other monitor. And then the switch itself is pretty fast. I mean, we are talking about the prop delay of 5 nanoseconds, but the delay that you see in the switching is essentially coming from the operating system. The board itself, it also has an enable jumper, so we could essentially put the switch in a disable mode so that now you don't see any video on either of the monitors. So the outputs are uh, disabled. So if we toggle the enable pin again, we will get the video back. So on the scope itself, uh, we are looking at the H sync signal in purple. Uh, we have a red signal coming in in yellow, and as you can see, we are probing the red signal after the switch, which is the blue trace here. So the idea is, you can see the signal drop across the switch is really minimal, because the RGB switches are very low RDS on, only 5 ohms, so you don't really see any drop, uh, or the difference in amplitude of red signal before and after the switch. So that's pretty much about VGA switch. And that's all from uh, NXP Logic, um, hope you had fun. And see you again next time. Bye.